So there is another part that we need to know about vectors. This was the first part, magnitude. The other part, the other component is direction. So we will also talk about direction. So in order to find direction, we just need to find an angle. What angle? The way you find the direction is to find the angle formed between positive x-axis. This is the positive x-axis. You know, this is the x-axis. This is the y-axis in the coordinate plane. So right side of origin is the positive x-axis. Left side of origin is the negative x-axis, right? So imagine this is the right side of x-axis. There is a coordinate plane here. This is the origin. And this is the right side of x-axis. So the angle formed between positive x-axis moving in the counterclockwise direction up to the vector. So this is your angle. That angle will give you the direction. Okay? Finding direction means finding the angle formed between positive x-axis and the vector. This is how you find the angle. So, let's take a look at some questions. The first one, draw each vector. You know how to draw for, for exercise 10. Uh, four units away on the horizontal axis. One, two, three, four, you are here. Six units away in the y direction the numbers are positive so i'm going right and i'm going up one two three four five six you are supposed to be here let's use an arrow from origin to that point is your vector now let's find direction so how do you find direction so since that's an angle and i have no idea what the angle is I'm not given the angle, right? I'm just given, given, um, I don't know this angle. This angle is missing. Let's say it's theta. I just know the opposite side of this theta, this angle, and adjacent side of that angle. So here I have opposite side as 6, adjacent side as 4. So does it ring a bell? Can you see the connection? In order to find an angle, if we know the opposite side of the angle and the adjacent side of the angle, so what should I do to do that? So now I can use all the power of trigonometry to help us out, right? You know trigonometry. You know what opposite over adjacent is. Do you remember the ratios? opposite side over adjacent side means in trigonometry tangent of an angle tangent theta will give us opposite over adjacent so let's use trigonometry to figure out what the angle is so tangent theta is equal to opposite which is six adjacent which is four so i know the ratio I know the ratio of the opposite and adjacent. I don't know the angle. So how do I find that angle? So remember what you learned in grade 10 about trigonometry. Maybe some of you will remember. Uh, in order to isolate that angle, what should I do? I am not dividing both sides by 10, right? No one is doing this. There is a way of solving this. In order to isolate that angle, in order to get that angle by itself, all we have to use it, use inverse tangent. So angle is equal to tangent inverse of that ratio, 6 over 4. Now use your calculators. Write your calculator, shift 10, bracket, 6 over 4, close the bracket. It will give you the answer. So you are looking for an approximate result, approximate degree. You have to round it to the nearest degree. It's 56.3 something. 
you just round it it becomes 56 degree okay this is how you find the angle formed between positive x-axis and the vector all right this was the first question question 11 exercise 11 though the same uh, you first sketch the vector uh, the of the vector five units to the right five units to the right one unit up go one unit up you are here so connect origin to this point with an arrow you are gonna have a vector like that so what you need is this angle angle formed between positive x-axis and the vector so as we did in the previous question we know the opposite side which is one we know the adjacent side which is five so just use the power of trigonometry tangent theta let's say the angle is theta equals one over five right so you to get theta you are going to have theta equals tangent inverse of um, 1 over 5 use your calculator and round it to the nearest degree so this is how you find the uh, direction so we have the vectors have two pieces and we learned them both direction and magnitude 